There's two types of car owners I see in the YouTube comments more than any other asking why don't I see my car on your videos more. One is A70 Supra owners and the other drive uh, MX-5 slash Miata slash Mazda Rosas. In order to uh, you know bring a bit of balance to the channel I thought I'd come out to a Mazda Roadster only meeting. All you Miata people have nothing to complain about after this. I hope. I was told there's about 140 cars. Oh, there's Monty Tassan. Hello! Split about three quarters, one quarter grip and drifting. It's the grip class coming in right, right now. So here's what we'll do, like we always do, walk around the pits, have a look at the cars, and then watch some drifting later on. Oh, there is drifting going on right now. Does look cool. I don't, I don't know if it's running today or not. It might be. Come on, see you there. Driver, I'm gonna The driver is apparently asleep. Oh, there he is. That's the driver over there. He's asleep in his uh, seat right now. Actually, I've noticed that about today. You don't usually see this at too many track days. There are people who brought out deck chairs, like you see at most track days. But look, they're all using their passenger seats as like chairs to sit in. Like that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be filming the guy when he's asleep. Another time attack style one. Yeah, they're just too small for you to sit in. Edgy Miru. Ah, Miru. Ta-da. Woo. Very nice clean engine bay. Mm. So it's a 1700, 1722 cc bore up. Mm. So he's uh, cut out the front end, installed the radiator at an angle, which then blows out the grill in the bonnet. I think he, he made the uh, universal motion of uh, starting an engine with a key. Nice. He also does net. They've also got the wide body version, if I can get the focus on there. I might put some pictures up. So the front of these cars, this is the one, obviously the headlights are filled in. It's meant to look like one of the really old IMSA SA RX-7s. That's the, uh, how they're meant to look. So I'll, 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 put, I'll put their Instagram here so you, can, uh, so you can check it out. Now some people might think that I don't like, uh, I'm just going to call them roadsters from now on because that's what they are. Some people might think I don't like them for some reason because I never show them in my videos. But there's a fairly good reason why uh, I don't really do much with these cars. Uh, let me show you. My knees are right on the steering wheel. Okay. And my head is exactly at the level of the roll bar. Alright, so if I'm wearing a helmet, it's, it's coming up above the roll bar. If I put this down, I can't actually see out the front of the car. Um, I'm, I'm six foot three, like 193 centimeters. That's why I don't really uh, do much stuff with roasters. I do like them, but uh, there you go, that's why. So I'm, I'm learning as well, apparently, in Japan, it's the, the NA is the Yunos Roadster, 
But from the NB onwards, it's the Mazda Roadster. So the name does change. I, was, I didn't know about that. It does look cool. They look good on uh, Watanabe wheels. Oh, speaking of cool wheels, CST Presidio Demon Cambers. They don't look like much, but these were really popular back in the day. あ、サイズ。あ、中袖これあのサーキットで。サーキットで。ちょっとと見せてください。ロックンロードスター。はい、待って。There <笑> Here's another one with the wheels I was just talking about. There you go. CST Presidio. Like I said, they don't look like much, but it's a very classic wheel to use on old like Sylvia's and stuff like this. It's meant to look like a Lotus or something. It's like a front bumper and replaces the headlights. The rear end looks pretty cool. To, oh, you can sort of see uh, where this has been molded in, these French lights. Ah, not all there? So it's kitane. So it's most ugh, it's mostly space filler and uh, you know hardware store brackets, but you know, look at five meter rule and he did it himself. Still pretty cool. At least it matches the front end. also looks really good out on the track. This one we just saw drifting. Sort of stancy but he was still going hard. It's easy to shoot the interiors on these because all you have to do is lean in. What they used to look like, what they look like now. This guy's going pretty hard too. So it looks like it's got a widened front end, I'm assuming. To our cut and welded lower arms. Hey, none this hooker. So if you're gonna be in Japan on see all, you always ask me, I'll get a lot of emails. Alexi, when there's events on, here you go. 
So on the 10th of August, it's going to be another one of these. Road Festa at Nico Circuit, that's here. And I believe the next day, there's going to be an A86 festival. These things. So if you come here to Nico Circuit on the 10th of August, uh, you can see basically this event. And then on the 11th, there's going to be an A86 event. Drift and grip. So if you're not into drift, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, but uh, there's grip there as well. He's got a fake Texas plate on there. Oh, did you all know I'm going to Texas? Just here's another reminder. Uh, Lone Star, May 2526. I'll be at the Houston Police Academy. Here's here's the information about it. Go here and see. Me. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be there. They're actually built, get this, there's gonna be a replica of my skyline there. And it's gonna be in nice condition, not all beaten up. Here's a photo of it in the build right now. So I'm gonna be driving this in Texas. So if you can come along, and I hope I'll see you there, bring a helmet, because I'm gonna do as many passenger rides as I possibly can. Dare. Megumi Kato, very curious. Megumi Kato. Very cute girl. Narodo. Eh, no, series nan desu ka? I don't know if you're a Yome san. Oh man, I haven't seen that name for a long time. Corns is, a, as far as I remember, a company that made a lot of roadster parts. I don't know if they're still around or not, maybe they are. Speaking of small open top cars, here's a random Honda Beat. The paint's in really nice condition. A lot of these came in yellow, which uh, if anyone's owned a yellow car and left it out in the sun, knows it goes off really quick, but this one still looks really nice. Yeah, here's another one on uh, these wheels, the CST Presidios. See, I wasn't lying. They're a popular old school wheel. Barely rubbing the sidewall. <laughs> Mazda MX-5 1-1 scale toy car. Oh, these are those uh, new work emotions. Looks good. What size are they? 215-35-18 on the front. And 215-35-18. So both sides, same size front and back. I like this one. The British Racing Green, Watanabe wheels, which are more or less copies of the Mini Light. <clears throat> the tan interior, which is still holding up considering it's. Jeez, uh, how old are these now? These are really old. And here's the. See, Unos badge came on the old NAs. Ma, Shinpin de Katta Nai Desho. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, the owner is uh, 23 and the car is like 27 or 8 years old now. Yeah, they're holding up pretty good. I haven't seen any turbo cars here today. I wonder if there are any. Like, I, I legitimately haven't seen any turbo cars here today. Oh, wait, I know this. This is. um. This is like a, almost a two liter. This car was built by Tech Arts. I think. Yeah, I just asked the owner. So this car, the engine was built by Tech Arts, which uh, fairly well known for doing A86 stuff. And the engine is now, it's a, it was a 1.6, well at least the head says 1.6, but it's uh, almost a two liter now. Like almost two liter, 1.9, whatever. Another small, open top, rear wheel drive sports car. Cappuccino, with, the, uh, with a towel rack wing on the back. All right, I've just been accosted by Daonamai. He wanted to show me his roads. He does drift, of course. Okay, so, big angle. Nakura adapter. Hi, Nakura adapter. So this is the way they get big angle on 
a Mazda Roadster. There's the standard knuckle. That's where the tie rod usually goes. It's now down here. It's been moved like in and down a few centimeters each way. All right, so that means it's a slightly shorter tie rod. So that's where it picks up. It's called a knuckle adapter. And the upper arm, you can see there, it's been lengthened about a centimeter. So that's how the front ends work on these sorts of cars. So it's a knuckle adapter. That's how you end up with uh, this much angle on the front. He's gonna take us for a ride, even though I'm like a 90 plus kilo weight penalty. He said he wants to take me out. So I'm gonna go and sign up as a passenger and then get my helmet and my GoPro ready. Gloves on. Okay, here we go. Joe, you're just gonna It wasn't it didn't even get to 100 100 degrees and the oil is like 85 going flat out that whole time Everybody like a cost performance got this normal engine normal engine mm. Mm. Woo. Uh, That was fun And re ah Wait up! Uh, so that's when we hit the uh, ripple strip. So, so go there. Uh. 
。まあ、直せるね。リップだけ。ハンマーで。ガスバーナーで危ない。大丈夫。And he still got that much tread on the tires after that run. Alright, that's all from today here at the Roadster meeting at Nico Circuit. I hope all of you out there who drive、uh, Miata's MX-5s are happy that I finally put some stuff like this on the, on the channel and you'll stop messaging me in the comments.、Uh, A70 Super People, I'll work on you next. A lot of fun.、Uh, I don't usually sort of recommend to people to buy an MX-5 as their first drift car. I used to say, you know, get a Sylvia or something like that. But I can really say that the best thing about these cars is, as you just saw, we did that entire session without cooling down. If you want to see the whole session, you go to Noriero 2, you can see it there. It was like seat time. Seat time is what's going to make you a good driver, and that's definitely what these are good at. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. That's what she said.